Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the Artillery Genius, the 3D printer that I've got over here and uh, well I've been using it for a while now and I have to say this is a great printer but of course we already knew that a little because it's almost the same printer as the Artillery Sidewinder and well I've been using the Artillery Sidewinder ever since it came out and that's I think my best printer under a thousand euros and uh, well this printer is the same quality but it's only a little bit smaller in size. Now what's so special about this printer? Well to start with uh, this printer has a built area that is 220 by 220 by 220 in size and those sizes are in millimeters. So it's a bit smaller than the Sidewinder X1 but it's fairly big if you compare it to some other cheap printers and well I have to say uh, it's most of the time good enough for a lot of things you do with it. Uh, the printer is a direct driven printer which means that the printer has its extruder over here and uh, this means that there is no Bowden cable and therefore you can print with filaments that are uh, for example flexible and well it does a very great job in working with these kinds of filaments. So yeah I have to say this printer can handle it all. It can handle flexible filaments, it can handle normal filaments, uh, it can handle engine which is a filament I like to use very very much uh, because it's almost ABS like and well it's very very nice to print with. Um, but also as you can see this printer uh, well it does everything very silent. Uh, it's now starting with a print job and well, my microphone is just over here and you can't hear the printer working or you almost can't hear the printer working because it's extremely silent. Now I have to say that uh, there are also a few downsides to this printer. I've been using it for uh, making these parts which I uh, sell uh, in the workplace where I work. And uh, well, when you do production parts then most of the time you have a bed full of parts and well also you would like to have rather, uh, rather large spools like the one I have over here. Now there is no way that with the mount on top of the printer you can use this spool because it's just too big in size. And uh, this is something which I really don't like of this printer because well it uses a volcano style hot end which means it can print very fast and you can use rather large nozzles on it. And uh, well I like to work with those rather large nozzles but then I'm going to consume a lot of filament so therefore I would like to be able to have bigger rolls of filament on top of the printer. And well it, it just can't spread enough uh, to let me do that. Now some other filaments like this new life filament that I've got over here uh, are also very nice to print with because well this for example is a multicolor filament, uh, a rainbow style filament and I love to print with this. Now this is also a problem because this is a very small roll and also this very small roll won't fit on top of that filament holder that you get there. And uh, well if you compare this to the Sidewinder X1 printer, the printer where this is the smaller brother, uh, well the Sidewinder X1 it was difficult to change the filament spool holder but it was possible and therefore that printer can print with these filaments while this printer just simply can't. Now, when you compare the speed of this printer to other printers, I have to say it's incredibly fast. Uh, not only can it print very fast, like for example 100 millimeters a second, which is well really no problem for this printer, but 
also it moves very fast and uh, for example the z hop uh, a, a method in which every time you change from one place to another with your nozzle uh, that the z goes up then moves and then goes down again is something which you can do very very fast with this with this printer and this is something which i really like to use in my profiles now, if you want to know everything about the profiles for this printer, I have a profile almost ready, which I'm going to share with you, of course, but then I'm also going to discuss how I made this profile. This will be a separate video. So, if you like this printer and, well, you like to see the new profile, well, wait for my other video. So, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you hit that bell notification as well because then you will be notified when I have that profile available on my website. And well, my website, of course, it's in the description down below uh, or also on the screen right now. And on my website, you will find a lot of information about this printer, also other printers and laser cutters and laser uh, engravers that I've reviewed in the past. So if you want to stay informed, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Now, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and uh, if so, then please let me know uh, by hitting the like button and also yeah, by subscribing to my channel. Visit my website because there you will see how easy it is to find all related videos of all kinds of printers I have reviewed in the past. And really my website is way easier than the normal YouTube way of finding things. So uh, you can go over there and find everything. And uh, well, if you like to help my channel, please, uh, if you want to buy this printer or other printers, use the links in the description down below or on my website, because then you're helping the channel, because these are affiliate links. And well, you help me a lot by buying via these links. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time uh, when I talk about the profile or other things that you can do with this great printer. I see you then. Bye bye.